Hi, Sol Kirsch here with Double Alpha Academy. For years we've had customers asking us to provide them with a nose down or point down solution for the Mr. Bullet Feeder Collators. Now the Mr. Bullet Feeder Collator and the Collator Pro for the larger unit are designed for reloading. So they're designed to collate the bullets with their base down the way you would use them to reload your ammo. However, there's a whole uh, base of customers out there who want to use these feeders for their bullet sizers and they need the collators to feed point down. So we're very pleased to offer now two conversion kits, one for the Mr. Bullet Feeder, one for the Mr. Bullet Feeder Pro, which allow you to convert your Mr. Bullet Feeder collator to feed the bullets point down. I should note that this solution is now available for pistol calibers only. You cannot use this at the moment for rifle. Part of the beauty of this conversion kit is that it requires no modification to your collator. So once you convert it to feed point down, you can always revert back should you want to use it in its regular configuration to feed base down. Let's take a look at these conversion kits. They basically include three components. Uh, the one is a plug which uh, closes the original output hole. You're not going to be using that. The other is a new customized nose guide which also includes an output point. And the third element is a new set of spaces which is configured for the new nose guide. Setting it up is important. You need to take time to make sure that you've positioned the nose guide exactly correctly. And to make that a little easier to do, we've included in the nose guide an adjustment screw which can be used for precise positioning of the nose guide to create just the right amount of, lead, of ledge that will allow the part to function as it should. To access that screw for adjustment, you do need to move to remove the spaces. There are four of them. Once you remove those, you do have access to the head of that screw. You don't have to use the screw. You can slide the nose guide up and down the way you usually do, but that can make it easy if you want to make a very minute adjustment. Let's take a closer look at how you're going to set this up. Okay, so the first thing you want to fit is the plug which needs to uh, close the normal output hole. You've removed the output tube that was here. The point to note is that the profile of the head of this plug is not symmetrical. It's lower on one side and higher on the other. It's very important that you assemble this with the low side in the direction from which the bullets are going to be coming. So if a bullet doesn't output, if it was base down, it'll get rotated on the ramp and the flip ramp here and then it will be point down, but it needs to go and complete the circle to come back again. So you must adjust this piece to where the lowest point is in the direction the bullets are coming from and the highest point will be here. Once you have that in the right angle, you can tighten the screw just a little. You don't need to over tighten it. You can break the part and you're done. Now the nose guide is positioned into place. You'll see that I have assembled the original output tube assembly into the bottom of the nose guide and this part will fit at, as it is. There's a small little screw there that will hold it in place. And once you've got this assembled, you're done with the output. On the end, you're going to have to uh, make your own modification to fit whichever sizing machine you're using. You'll have to improvise. If this connection doesn't fit for you, you'll have to improvise a connection to your sizing machine. Now, the key to make this function correctly is to make sure that you have adjusted the ledge correctly and what I mean by the ledge is if you take a close look in here you can see that there is a little white ledge it's part of the nose guide that needs to be just the right amount so that the point of the bullet will slide off it and fall down the tube but the base of the bullet will remain supported leaning against the inside of the pocket and continue on to start rotating on the ramp on the nose guide and the flip ramp so moving this piece in and out can be crucial to the fraction of a millimeter to get that working correctly and it's very dependent on the profile of the bullet that you're using. A normal uh, round nose will be easier to adjust. Flat tip bullets and semi watt cutters will require a little more playing around. There is a screw at the bottom to loosen. There is a screw at the bottom that you can loosen in order to free the nose guide and allow it to move. So once that's loose, you can slide the nose guide in and out. And as I mentioned before, you can remove the spaces and then have access to the screw on the top here 
and accessing that screw will allow you to use it as an adjustment tool to make minute position changes to get just the right position of your nose guide in and out. And once you have that where you want it, you should tighten the screw from the bottom and then insert the nose guides, the spaces, back into place. And once you've got that fully adjusted, the collator should output the bullets nose down extremely reliably. Remember that slight adjustments to the angle of the collator might also be required. So once you configure this correctly and you have your nose guide just in the right position, you have the angle of the collator just in the right position, you should be able to get this uh, bullet collator to output reliably point down with most bullet profiles. This is the new point down conversion kit for the Mr. Bullet Feeder and the Mr. Bullet Feeder Pro by Double Alpha Academy.